In this Space Movie in 2 video, I bring you what in my opinion are the 5 best Eternal War PvP weapons in the game. Let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away a copy of Space Marine 2 on a weekly basis. So to win for yourself or a friend who's yet to have the game, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are soaked. I will pick one winner from the comment section and announce them at the end of the week. So good luck everybody. So there are tons of weapons across all 6 classes for you to use within PvP. Today guys, I bring you what in my opinion are the 5 best and most rewarding to the player. Now obviously, many of these weapons are exclusive to certain classes. So if you want to experience them, you may first need to level up and unlock said weapon, but at the same time use a class you ain't yet used to. Okay, so let's go. And first up guys, in at number 5 we have the Bolt Rifle. Now this is a weapon exclusive to the tactical class and it's actually guys the first weapon you get to use. Now what makes this even better is the fact this can be the goal to class for new players to use and get used to PvP but at the same time have a great weapon to introduce you into the Eternal War game mode. Now the weapon is a full auto carbine which does seem to fire pretty slowly considering but it hits real hard because it shoots so slow, well I say so slow, it ain't that slow, but because it shoots slower than most, I mean its accuracy is much much better than most. The thing also hits very very hard, has half decent range too, and will for sure see you finishing near the top of those leaderboards. It's actually a weapon I see high level tactical class players still using. Uh, well, in my opinion, there's only one weapon better on a tactical class. You don't unlock that until level 25. But yes, guys, the Bolt Carbine is a monster of a gun, one you can use off the bat, and one for sure will see you slay those enemies. In at number 4, guys, we have the Heavy Plasma Incinerator. So this weapon is just an utter brute. It's I believe the last weapon you unlock on the heavy but don't quote me on that but it's 100% most fun to use. A weapon easily capable of one hitting enemies, the heavy plasma incinerator is what's basically a grenade launcher where you need to judge that curve and basically time your shots right. But you can also guys charge this thing up to do devastating damage. Now upon me first using this, I didn't really like it, I won't lie, but the more I used it and the more I got used to the playstyle needed and going back to playing on the heavy, I just started destroying kids with it and at the same time uh, with a fat smile on my face. Now there are probably more efficient weapons you can use, more weapons which will see you doing great with them I guess, but at the same time I'm certain you'd end up loving this thing if you just basically dedicated time to it, you'd be a terminator. The things are that wild. Okay, so in at number three, guys, we have the Instigator Bolt Carbine, which is a weapon, guys, exclusive to the Vanguard class. So this is a weapon that I covered a couple of days back now, and being a weapon most people are just basically overlooking. What this weapon is, it's probably the best ranged weapon in the game. It's a free burst primary that hits like a truck, fires relatively quickly, is pinpoint accurate. And also at the same time, it's quite good at close range. Now being a Vanguard class weapon, what this means is you can use the grapnel launcher to allow yourself to get to certain spots on maps no other class can really take advantage of. And in fact it also scopes in to make it even more uh, easy on those precision kills, it's just crazy. Now the Vanguard class has been getting a bit of slack in regards to people calling for nerfs on the grapnel launcher, I actually feel it isn't OP at all. It's just knowing how to use and counter it, uh, which I feel many people are having issues with. It's a learning curve I feel nowadays people just don't want to learn. They want everything made just simple for them right off the bat. A kind of like self entitlement in my opinion. But yes, the Instigator Bolt Carbine is a great weapon most players haven't even given a second look. It's a weapon I actually wished was on the Sniper class, it probably suits this class just as much if not more than the Vanguard class. But hey, either or guys, it's still a great great weapon and definitely deserving of that number 3 spot on my top 5 best PvP weapons. Ok so next up guys and in at number 2 we have the Bolt Carbine. So the Bolt Carbine is a weapon that's available on the Sniper class. 
Its bomb with a sniper class pairing it with that invisibility is what makes this weapon so so good. I mean it's probably the best weapon in this game for that close range combat. And considering that's on the sniper class, I mean there's a few questions there that need to be answered, but either or guys, it is what it is, and this thing is utterly brutal. It's the fact that the invisibility allows you to get close in and behind players. And with this bolt carbine basically being an SMG that just shreds at close quarters, it's unbelievable, it really is, guys. Now, there is also the Oculus bolt carbine on the Vanguard class, too, which isn't a bad weapon at all, but it really don't compare here. And to be honest, it's probably here, it's probably on my list just because it's on that sniper class, and it's probably why I've ranked it so high. If this was a weapon on that heavy class, we wouldn't be having this conversation for sure. But yes, the Bolt Carbine is a monster at that close range, but does have a bit of distance at it at the same time. It's also a real easy weapon to use, I mean it makes the game easy mode, especially on that sniper class. And again, some of my highest kill games in the game have all come from me using this weapon on that sniper. It's just utterly brutal, and that's why it's number two on my list. Okay, so in my opinion, the very best weapon in the game for that Eternal War mode, that PvP mode in Space Marine 2, is the Plasma Incinerator. This is a weapon exclusive to the tactical class. Now, the only downfall to this weapon is the fact you need to be a level 25 to unlock it. But man, oh man, once you do, you're going to be blown away at just how good this thing is. So the weapon itself is a semi-auto weapon which you can charge up, but it's a semi-auto option here which is just utterly disgraceful. Charging it up does do that extra damage, but just spamming out those shots is a better way to use it in my opinion. I say this because the weapon shoots projectiles uh, over a certain distance, are kind of slow compared to those normal shots, and you can see like a noticeable like delay between you shooting them and them landing but at those close well, close to mid range guys anyone's in your aim anyone's in your line of sight you fire you are hitting and it does utterly brutal damage i'm thinking like five bullets to the body to take down any enemy and i mean it shoots relatively quick too i mean yes it's semi-automatic so you have to spam that trigger with your pinky finger but at the end of the day guys once you get this down there's nothing that touches this weapon in a game. It's incredible at range. Brutalizes that close range too. I mean, yes, there's nothing like it. There really ain't. Now, we covered the heavy version of this earlier, the heavy plasma incinerator. These two act completely different. This is nothing like a grenade launcher whatsoever. It's more of an assault rifle, it really is. So yes, although the heavy plasma incinerator is quite good, this is on a whole different level. It really is, guys. I mean, it don't feel quite as powerful as the heavy uh, plasma incinerator, but at the same time, this thing shoots quicker, way more accurate, way more forgiving. Yes, it heats up. There's no actual reload on this. It heats up after like holding the trigger down for like 20 shots is what you have here. I mean, as soon as you let go of that trigger, it cools right down real quick. So yeah, this plasma incinerator on the uh, tactical is utterly brutal. And it's by far the best weapon in this game. I just want to do a shout out to another weapon that I unlocked and that is the Laz Zuzil. Uh, this is the last sniper you get, it's a charge sniper. Now I won't lie, upon me unlocking this at a level 23, I used it uh, for a few games and felt so disappointed with it. Uh, but then you know what, I just carried on giving it the benefit of the doubt, I just thought it deserved more and I'm so glad I did because um, what would have started out of me hating this weapon has turned to me really really enjoying the weapon in my opinion it's the most rewarding weapon in the game yes it's difficult to use and get used to but once you do guys it's so so fun because it is capable of one tapping every single enemy to the face in the game and it's just learning to use it it's just all about controlling that charge uh timing it perfectly and you'll be an absolute animal with this weapon and it's why i feel it deserves a mention although it ain't one of the top five weapons in the game top 10 yes top five no i still feel it deserves a mention but there we have it guys my best five weapons in pvp eternal war in space marine 2. what's your favorite weapon let me know down below if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one